What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Canary Zone for a very late daily news video because I'm just back. Um, but we're gonna talk about what happened today, basically, or what the big news is uh, of the day, and that's Samarcic, obviously. As you can see on the thumbnail, we will discuss uh, some other things, you know, especially leading up to the Fiorentina game because we play on uh, Sunday. Uh, that's basically in a couple of day days. But it's already Thursday almost here. So in about three, four days, we play Fiorentina. And it's it's a tough game, as usual. It shouldn't be a tough game because we are we should be by far the better team. You know, uh, I've watched them live already this season, Fiorentina, playing against a team that's way worse than us. And they should have lost. They didn't look good. So we will talk about that a little bit. But Samarcic is the main uh, topic of the show. Before we get into it, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, hit the bell notification, and uh, let's go. Okay, so the big news of the day is Samarcic, and we talked about him, I don't know, 10 times in the last two, three months, basically. Actually, dating back from... August when his move to Inter broke down and there were already some you know rumbling that he might be an option for us who knows and uh, never really came to that but there were already talks about the club is looking at him the club loves him blah 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 the usual stuff now it's kind of heating up because because of obvious things uh, one Fajoli is suspended Pogba we actually have no idea what Pogba <laughs> It technically hasn't been really like it, it hasn't been public on Pogba, but he's gone. Um, we don't know what it means for his future. Doesn't really matter for us at this point. The only thing that matters is two players are down, and you need cover. You need cover in that midfield. You also need cover cover on the right hand side. We'll talk about that a little bit. But you need cover in that midfield because you don't have like you have three players with McKenney four. And that's what I said on the right, because McKenny will move on the right now way as injured, because we have short it's there. And that's what we talked about last summer, you know, uh, when we were not being linked with right wingers and we were like, what is this? And yes, McKenny is doing an okay job, but like going forward, actually being dangerous, that's not McKenny. That's what that will never be McKenny. So for the good job he's doing, it's not enough in that role. Like in that position, I want something completely that we should have something completely different. So it's only three, four midfielders. I don't count Nicolucci because I have absolutely no idea what he's doing at the club. I'm being, I'll keep repeating it. I have, I cannot explain why he's here, but he's here, but we cannot include him at this point. Um, because he, he hasn't made an appearance whatsoever, you know, not even being up a few scores. So we need a signing as a March, as all, as always, as I said, personally, he feels ready made. He comes in, I think he will fill a need. And does need adaptation to the league, you know, I think to the club. I don't think it's very difficult to adapt to this team because I think it's more difficult to adapt to, let's say, a Jurgen Klopp team in midfield, you know, in this prime. Or because everybody has a specific role, they play a specific way. We don't play, we play in a specific way, but like it's not all pattern out, if you know what I mean. So I, don't, I think it will fit in. Perfectly, and the news from Tuto Sport and Nico Shira is saying that Samarchi is now pushing for a move. He wants to be out, and usually, or like usually, a couple of months ago, a couple of weeks ago, the news was ah, he wants to move in the summer, and now it's a flip. He said he wants to leave, and Juve are very interested in him and already talking with his agents or whatever uh, to see if this deal is possible to do in the in January. Now, there was a report today which was understandable slash crazy is that Udinese are willing to work on a deal but not with his agent slash father involved which is crazy because he is his agent slash father so you're gonna need to deal with it what happened this summer was wild was crazy uh, but at the end of the day that's that's what it is <laughs> that's, that's what football is all about you know we've seen more crazier stuff than this and Udinese are going to need to deal with it. You know, they're going to need to accept that he is his father agent and they're going to need to deal with him. So do we, by the way. Uh, but this is big news that he is now pushing for a move. And a couple of weeks ago, it was 
he doesn't really want to move mid-season and now it's like he wants to move the club wants him at this moment in time Inter are not really in for him because they got for day like they moved on we are in the driving uh, seat it's up to us to make that deal happen and i think from all the names being linked turam hoiberg uh, i don't know diara just name the list he sounds a more realistic one because of price tag wage team you're dealing with and all those things you know i don't think hoiberg is realistic because tottenham are asking for um, a ridiculous amount they can ask what they want but he's not worth that amount and also, he's not that good of a player, in my opinion. You know, if he comes in, Hoiberg, I will not be like, oh, now we got better. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> that's just, for me, a waste of money because it doesn't move the needle. Uh, Turam, I don't think Nice are going to let him go in January because they know there will be more of a bidding war in the summer. So not smart for them. And the other names are all like fringe players, like players you get linked with, but you don't really believe, you know, we're actually in for for them now it feels like it's like a side deal they will do whenever you know um samarcic is the main name it's the main candidate and i will take him i think a lot of people will take him because he offers something we can use obviously you know besides the need of him filling positions uh, or filling a gap in the squad number wise um he's a player we can actually use and i think it's up to juntily now to Kind of push it, move it, and if you really want some, some matches, because there's no break. Like last season, we had a uh, World Cup break the season before. I think we had two weeks off, uh, winter break. That's not there really this season. So if you really want some matches, I think it's something you need to work on already now to get that done really soon in January rather than later, you know, in January. Because there will be injuries, knock on wood, but it will happen, and we cannot afford to have any more injuries. So the sooner you get this deal potentially wrapped up the sooner he can come in and actually help us in January in, I don't know and push for the title the top four I don't know at this moment in time it looks like a title even though I don't believe it um but who knows so it's interesting I think it's a big development that he is now open to move um I think that's something that will make a potential deal move faster and more easier um it's up to us now. It's up to us now if we actually want to do that deal, how soon we want to do that deal, and if we actually, you know, are in for him. But I do believe we're in for him if you just go off uh, the most basic rumors at this moment in time. Um, but let me know in the comments what you think about the news. Do you believe it? Do you don't believe it? Do you actually want some Samarcic? Do we actually need him? Um, like the video. Subscribe to the channel. I will be back tomorrow live, Friday live. Saturday, no life, and Sunday, match reaction because we play on Sunday. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later tomorrow.